Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, today we will talk about SARFI. SARFI is System Average RMS Variation Frequency Index. It is an index of power quality. Meaning, when we see SARFI, we know uh, how well or how severe power quality in a place. Okay? Normally, SARFI uh, is counted based on a period of time. Generally, one month or one year. Okay, let me tell you today five facts about SARFI. Okay? Facts number one. SARFI is not the only index of power quality. There are other index as well as SIDI, or MIFI and others. Facts number two. SARFI generally being presented with a number or a standard. For example, SARFI 70, SARFI 80, SARFI 40, or we got SARFI standard as SARFI ITIC, SARFI SEBIMA, or SARFI Semi F47. Facts number three. SARFI is an accumulative index. Meaning, if you see one place in a period of time that got different SARFI value, like SARFI 90, SARFI 80, SARFI 70, the lower number is always got lower SARFI index. SARFI 50 is always lower than or same as SARFI 90. Okay, after I tell you about these three uh, facts about SARFI, let me tell you how to calculate the SARFI. Okay, the original definition of SARFI is how many events happen times how many customer affected by that events divide by the total population of customers okay but this is impractical in most of cases so in malaysia suruhanjaya tenaga with a uh, tenaga national berhad collaborate and install a few uh, several devices many of that devices across Peninsula of Malaysia and then they come up with another definition that makes sense as well. Now, the definition for the one that we will use in this class is SARFI is the ratio between the events over the total devices. Okay. So, let's do some example before we go to facts number four. Okay. So, consider this. So, there are five days. Okay. Day one, day five, day 11, day 16, and day 27. This is five days that got power quality incidents. And then, I put there the magnitude of that incident as well. All of this is voltage sag and one interruption. And then, I put there the number of devices that recorded this event. So, day one, one device. Day five, two devices recorded the same event. Day 11, only one device. Day 16, three devices. And then day 27, where the interruption is happened, 10 devices. Okay. The total device in that place is 10. So, as you can see, that number 10, sorry, that day 27, okay, all 10 devices recorded that event. Now, let's calculate the number of devices that recorded events for a particular SARFI. Okay, I put there SARFI 90, 80, 70, 50, 40, and 10. Okay, this is commonly available uh, SARFI index that we use. Okay, SARFI 90 will calculate all event 
that have magnitude of 0 0.9 and below. That's why it's accumulative, 0 0.9, 0 0.8. Even that interruption is considered as one of the recorded event for SARFI-90 as well. So, we put that. For SARFI-90, day 5, so day 1 is 1, and then 2, 1, 3, and 10. So, all together, there are 16 devices recorded event for that one month in that particular place. How do we get SARFI out of this number? How to get SARFI is by divided this number with the total number of devices in that place. So, that's 10. 16 divided by 10, we got 1.6. That is how SARFI is calculated. So, okay, same thing happened to other uh, SARFI numbers as well. Okay, let's talk about SARFI uh, 50. Okay, consider that SARFI 50. So, day number one, 0 0.71 is not below than 0 0.5. So, we not consider that. Day number 5, 0 0.55 PU. That's not considered in SARFI 50 as well. Day number 11, 0 0.68 PU. That's not considered as well. Day 16, 0 0.2 PU. Huh? This one is counted in that SARFI 50 calculation. So, we put there 3. And then, day 27, that's interruption. Of course, it's calculated under SARFI 50 as well. So, we put 10 there. So, the total number of devices that detect any event happen below 0 0.5 PU is 13. So, divide that by, by the number of devices. So, we got 1.3. That is how SARFI is calculated. Okay? So, all together up to the SARFI uh, 10. Okay? I hope you understand how SARFI is calculated. Okay. Facts number 4. Malaysia is perhaps the only or if not one of very few countries that publish SARFI index uh, value. You can access them at ST website. Okay, I put the link down there so you can access. For my international student and my international friends as well, um, that website is in Bahasa Melayu, so perhaps you need to use Google Translate to uh, translate that website. Okay, but as long as... Uh, let me take one example from, um, this is from uh, 2016, okay? 2016, let's zoom in the states of Malacca, okay? Malacca is the famous, famous state in Malaysia. Okay, let's zoom in into Malacca. So, Malacca got how many devices installed in Malacca? Ten. Okay, as far as 2016 is concerned, there's 10 devices installed in Malacca. So, let's zoom in into the uh, November. Okay, so November in Malacca, Sarfi 90, okay, is 1. Okay, the number for Sarfi 90 is 1. So, how many events for that? Sarfi 90 in November. Okay, to get that event, you take this number and then times with the number of devices. The total number of devices in Malacca is 10. So, 1 times 10. There's 10 events in Malacca alone at November 2016. Okay. Okay, consider in July. July is a very interesting. Okay, because... Uh, you can see, in July, the number is 0 0.1 for SARFI 80 and down to SARFI 40. 
0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. If I uh, ask you to guess, what's the magnitude for that event? There's only one event, because 0 0.1 times 10 is only one. There's only one event. If I ask you to guess, what's the magnitude of that event in that July? Below, surfi, below uh, 0 0.8 PU. What's your guessing? Okay. To get this, it's not uh, 0 0.7. Of course, it's not 0 0.7. It's not 0 0.5. It might be 0 0.39. Okay. But it's not less than 0 0.1. Because of what? If there's only one event, and that event is below 0 0.1 PU, then we got the number in Sarfi 10. But now, there's no number in Sarfi 10. So this event must be from 0 0.1 up to 0 0.4. Okay? It cannot be more than 0 0.4. It cannot be less than 0 0.1. Okay. So I think that's all about Sarfi. Okay? I hope you get idea of uh, how Sarfi is calculated and uh, how can we use it. So I hope you got some benefit uh, out of this video. Okay, I think uh, that's all for now. All the best for your uh, test or final exam if you're a student. If you are uh, not a student, perhaps you can use this knowledge in uh, your career. Okay, if you have any question, please put in the comment below. All right, thanks. Bye.